Good day everyone! Today we are going to make a book review about Independent People by Halder Laxness. So, before I start, I will be going to make a short background about the author. So, Halder Laxness is a Icelandic writer who won a Nobel Prize in Literature. He specializes in novel, essays, poetry, and many more. One of his famous novel is Independent People. So the main character in this novel is Jartur. Jartur is a farmer. He works for 18 years at Bayleaf and after working for 18 years, he finally acquired the land that he wanted and named it Summer House. The following settings in the novel are Summer Houses. This farmland was named by Jartur. This is the main setting in the novel. Rosemary. It is the nearest village to the summer houses. Jartur spent his earlier years living here in Rosemary. And lastly, Jords. These are found in mainly in Norway. In the beginning of the story, Jartur, who worked for 18 years, finally acquired the land that he always wanted. And soon he named the house Summer House. While moving to the house, Rosa is not happy about it. And soon, Rumors are spread that the land is cursed by an evil spirit named Gulum Kili and Ganvor. Jertur accused Rosa that she had sex with the bailiff's son named Ingulfur. Because of that, he punished Rosa and made her work for a very long hour. And he also refused to give what Rosa is craving for during her pregnancy. When Jertur went to do some round of of his ship, and hunt reindeers, he left a ship to accompany Rosa. And when finally Jartur came back at home, he found Rosa dead and he also found a baby child. Fearing for the baby's life, Jartur decided that he needed to ask help despite his strong aversion to needing others. Then soon, he named the baby Asta Solila. Bailiff sent Vina to took care of Asta. In part 2, free of debt, time has moved forward considerably. Jartur has married Fina and they have three sons together named Helgi, Vendur, and Noni, as well as Asta Sovila. Jartur makes barely ends meet on the farm, but he is proud to keep the farm free from debt. Due to the family's poverty, the local women's institute gave them a cow. In chapter 31, Asta accompanied Jartur to the coast to ten business in town of Jorn. They visited the merchant who commented that the 13-year-old daughter of Jartur is old enough to get married soon. Jartur pushed back against on the grounds that she had not yet been confirmed. Jartur took Asta to a bookseller to buy some more classical Icelandic literature. But the title Jartur wanted was out of the print. The bookseller suggested a book named The Secrets of Love, wholesome advice regarding the union of men and women. A title which annoyed Jartur and which Asta Solila did not understand. Jartur took Asta to stay the night in a boarding house in a dormitory full of adult men who criticized Jartur for being a girl whose Asta's age to stay there. Jartur shared a bed and molested Asta. Jartur hired a worker named Frita, who criticized him in front of the children. And a man stayed on the land at summer houses for a vacation. And a stranger requesting permission to hunt on the land, which Jartur grants. Asta falls in love with the man, but she is an awkward, a shy young girl, and he does not really notice her. Jartur thinks he understands when the bailiff's daughter suddenly departs her home. The family struggled financially and Jartur decided to kill the cow. Despite Tina pleased him not to do it at the start of Volume 2, Part 1, Hard Times. Fina died shortly after Jartur killed the cow. Helgi began murdering Jartur's sheep and blaming it on the demon column Kili. The local community assembled at summer houses for an exorcism. But Jartur threw them out and said that he planned to report the deaths of his sheep to the authorities. 
in chapter 46 reveals that there was no ghost. It was Helgi who killed Jarto's ship before disappearing the snow. In chapter 47, Vendur and Donnie discuss how to deal with the ground up issues beyond their comprehension. Chapter 48 While he was away, an unnamed man arrived and claimed that Jarter had sent him to be the children's teacher, which the children accepted unquestioningly. The unnamed teacher began teaching. During his stay, the teacher raped Asta Salilha and wrote a mysterious letter. Jarter returned and it was revealed that the teacher is a stranger. Jarter found Helgi's dead body but did not tell anyone. Asta and Jartur become closer. After Helgi and Fina both pass away, Fina dies after several years. Nani received a letter offering him passage to emigrate to America and he left the family. Jartur discovered that Asta is pregnant and although he still has great affection for her, he turns cold toward on his approval. Jartur told Asta that he was not her real father and that she had to leave the house and live with her family there in the Rosemary. Asta set off in the opposite direction heading for the town of Jord. In chapter 61, Jartur remaining son, Vendur, had turned 17 and expected one day to inherit the summer house. Iceland was experiencing economic boom due to the continued war in the Europe. So Jartur deposited his money in the local saving banks managed by Ingulfor Arnarsson. So the bailiff offered Jartur to buy the summer house for 15,000 krono, but he declined it. In Volume 2, Part 2, Years of Prosperity, Noni wrote a letter to Vendor inviting him to go in America. Vendor received a letter containing $200 supposedly from their uncle to allow him to immigrate to America. Now, Vendor told Jartur that he was going to America. And Jartur heaped scorn on the idea, but Vendor remained resilient. So, Vendor left the summer house and began his journey to America. But along his way, he fell in love with a girl and he decided not to leave at all. The girl scorned her for being too cowardly to go to America. After that, Vendor briefly visited Asta and her daughter who were living in poverty. Asta told Vendor that her father, Ingolfor Arnarsson, offered her money but she refused it like Jartor living in independence. An economic boom brought by the World War encouraged Jartor to take out a loan to build a house at Summer House. But when the war ended, Jartor left with debts and he could not repay. Jartor troubled George with Vendor and well there they met some socialists who are planning to fight with the police over a strike. These socialists offered Jartor some stolen bread and he ate it, destroying his sense of himself being an independent man. Jartor finances turned into worse and he could not keep up the payment so he lost the summer house. But Jartor refused to be depressed because of his situation and he rent a small farm to start again. Chapter 62, Vendor left the summer house and go to America. Jartor asked him to recite some lines of poetry revealing how much he missed Asta. So Jartor visited Asta and asked her to return and live with him. And Asta willingly did. And the remaining family members packed their things and left the summer house for good. Asta returned very ill and Jartur welcomed her back. The novel ends with him helping her to come home with him to his small farm. Jartur is unaware of the damage he had done to everyone. He remained fiercely proud of his self-reliance and he owes nothing to anyone. Asta has only a short time to live but finds joy in the anticipation of being again 
with the first man she ever loved. To put things together, the title means self-standing. And the protagonist, Jartur, wants to have his own farms and his dream to own nothing to anyone. Jartur had worked for 18 years and this experience made him love sheep more than people. Jartur is a rational and sensible man. He doesn't believe in ghosts and evil spirits. So at the end, the dream of being independent didn't materialize Jartur, but he did reconcile with Asta, which was her real daughter. Now let me talk about the theme of this novel. Freedom is an important theme. Jartur is a difficult character. In fact, he's so proud of his independence that he refused any offer of help. The second thing we noticed was its icy cold realism. That when Jartur found his dead wife, he is indifferent. In fact, not a single person shows emotion at her death. Nobody cries, nobody screams, and even sobs. Jartur thinks about his missing ship rather than his dead wife. Despite Jartur his best effort to change his life, he failed to establish his own independent farm. That concludes the end of our book review about independent people by Halder Laxness. Thank you again. Good day.